Look! Coming off the press! It's a bag! No, it's a flyer! It's both. It's a flyer and a bag. It's a flag. Our idea is... The flag! It's a flyer and a bag. The idea is to create a whole new product right off the press with little or no added equipment or costs. The flag answers all three innovation questions. Run. By creating a bag on the press, we are automating a new process and simplifying the production of a bag and flyer in one. Increasing profits by giving customers additional reasons to print with us. Grow. We will increase our runs by offering new and existing customers an additional product, which will increase our market share. The flag tells our customers that we are always thinking of innovative ways to give them new and better products. Transform. This is not your father's old brown bag. The printing press becomes a packaging manufacturer. We have transformed the ordinary flyer into two products, giving our customers and their customers added opportunities. This is thinking outside the bag. But how do we do it? Once the innovation team came up with the idea, it was our challenge to figure out how to make it happen. We began by talking to people in different areas of the plant with different expertise. Karen came to me recently with a crazy idea. Could we manufacture a bag right off the press? My initial thought was, how would we seal the bottom of the bag? I thought it might be possible, but it would require extensive modification. To accommodate a horizontal time glue shot to seal the bottom? It didn't seem feasible. I guess the biggest problem was the direction of travel of the web. There was no way that we could seal the bottom of the bag, but yet have the glue shots on both sides. There was no way to have a bottom on the bag. Karen proposed turning the bag and running as, as a tabloid. When she came up with that idea, it was a eureka moment. We were able to create the gussets, which were fairly simple. And then after they go around the cutting cylinder, we employ the glue lines. The bag goes around the cylinder, the bag is glued, and there it is. Our first run with little more than duct tape and string created a fantastic new product. Proving that if you believe you can do it, you can accomplish whatever you put your mind to. We can do that by utilizing two blue lines inside the folder and using the fold as the foot of the flag. Do we have to modify the press to do this? Uh, not really. This product is really no different than any flyer that we print, except that it does have a couple glue lines which we can move during the make ready process. It'll cost the same to us as a normal flyer. By putting our heads together, we came up with a game plan. We did a test run and passed with flying colors. The flag has many applications, with customers using words like the sky's the limit, there's no telling just how big this bag could get. Retail outlets are a great place for the flag, offering unlimited number of possibilities for the customer. The bags may be returned to the store for additional savings as well as being reused as a bag. Large chains may order flags for special occasions such as seasonal gift flags, sale flags, coupon flags, or promotional flags. All this and people can feel good about the fact that these are not plastic bags. The smaller flag is perfect for pharmacies. The size is ideal for prescriptions and may promote upcoming offers, sales and reminders for customers that keep them coming back. With a single plate change, large runs can be personalized to individual stores. Won't you sing about the blue sky, oh honey? And remember, Besides being a point of purchase product, 
the flag is still a flyer, driving traffic right to your door. The flag, the ultimate in the four R's. Reduce. The most important R. We are reducing the need for plastic bags by replacing them with paper flags. Reuse. The flag can be used as a flyer and then as a bag, which we may continue to use as long as it lasts. Recycle. We use recycled paper to create the flags, which in turn can be easily recycled after being reused. Rethink. By rethinking the flyer, we came up with a completely new product without adding cost. After seeing it for themselves, here's what our customers had to say about the flag. I can definitely see the potential in this. Okay, I can see putting a coupon on this to bring people back. Two steps behind me and I did now that we have introduced the flag to approximately 50 stores, I'd like to roll this out with a survey format indicating that volume would reduce cost. Brilliant, I love them. Thank you very much. Further research and testing will improve the process and the product. In our research, we learned that to produce a printed bag, current bag manufacturers must either stamp pre-existing bags or print a roll of paper to then create the bags. At TC Transcontinental, we can produce this hybrid flyer in one step and provide process color, thus giving us the competitive edge in the marketplace. The height of the flag is 11 inches, while the width can range from 8 to 9.5, making a variety of sizes possible for many different products. There may be enough room for a small penguin, although this is not recommended. And what's next for the flag? We've learned a lot and still have an exciting road ahead. Figuring out the best way to improve, innovate and transform the flag into a product that any of our presses could run for their customers. The flag, coming soon to a press near you. Right and the stars align